Okay, let's talk about how to stick an opt-in form underneath your blog post. It really is the best place, well, not necessarily the best place, but a pretty damn good place to put an opt-in form. See, what a lot of bloggers do is, even though they know they need to build their list, is they'll just have an opt-in form up here on the sidebar, and generally it looks kind of default. It's mainly because they figured out how to use widgets, and a lot of themes come with sidebars that are widgetized, so you can actually just set up, you can paste your opt-in form code into a widget, and stick it on your sidebar. And the thing is, if you don't know how to do anything besides that, then that's really the only place you have an opt-in form, which is really limited. So underneath your blog post, as you can see, I've got one here, is a really good place to have an opt-in form. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here real, real quick and easily. Now, keep in mind, you can put an opt-in form code manually into your theme. And we've already talked about in other videos here how you can inject code directly into your theme files. On the single.php file, you go to underneath where the content is actually displayed, and you could put anything you want in there, including opt-in form code, and you can customize it to your heart's content. Now, I don't wanna get that geeky because sometimes plugins really are the best way to go. And what it will actually do is tap right into the hook which is a little hook which which sits underneath all blog posts on WordPress and it sits there silently but it's there so that any plugin can tack onto it and inject things underneath the blog post so I'm gonna go show you really quickly three plugins that I recommend that you check out one of them is called magic action box this is a really really good plugin that will help you put calls to action uh, and opt-in forms and other things underneath your post. Now, in fact, if you go back to my blog post, this is on my blog, you'll see I have a nice little box call to action here, which is not an opt-in form. Uh, it's basically an ad, uh, but this is done with ma magic action box. So, it, it, but it, the same plugin will also do opt-in forms and things like that. So it's a really cool plugin, provides a lot of flexibility. One of the things that it allows you to do is have custom calls to action or custom action boxes on every single post or by category or what have you. So it gives you a lot of control and you can really get very fine-tuned with the marketing. So if, if you have a blog post specifically about topic X, you can have an opt-in form which precisely matches topic X so that it's a lot more tightly related to what the person just read and hopefully that gets your opt-in rates up. Now another one you could check out is called Opt-in Skin. And this is another really good plugin that, that makes doing opt-in forms a heck of a lot easier, has some built-in designs. And when you select it, it will actually put the opt-in form right onto that hook right underneath your blog post. Now, these, uh, this plugin will also allow you to put opt-in forms in other places. So it gives you a lot of other flexibilities, um, but it will obviously help make child's play out of sticking opt-in forms underneath your blog post. So opt-in skin is another really good one. Now, uh, one other I want to show you is called Hybrid Connect. Now, Hybrid Connect is a really great plugin. Um, in many ways, it's much more capable than opt-in skin. So Hybrid Connect is a really great plugin. The only reason I don't use it, and I want to be totally upfront about this so you can make up your own mind, is that I, because of the capabilities that it has, it actually outputs a lot of code into the source code of your blog. So basically the long and short of it is that in theory it will actually slow down the load time of your site because it actually loads so much in in order to do what it does. But uh, all that aside, it's an extremely capable plugin and you might want to check it out as an option. And of course, among the many things that it will do is it'll make child's play out of putting nice looking opt-in forms underneath your blog post. So again, this really comes down to one of those things where sometimes getting these plugins will just make your life so much more easy and there's really you have no good reason not to do it do not sit there and not put opt-in forms on your blog uh, because you don't know how to do it manually and you just sit there and, and get stubborn about buying a plugin just buy the darn plugin and get the job done with it will make your life a lot easier but again if you want to do it completely manually if you get into the tech workshop we'll totally go in and do how to inject opt opt-in form code into your theme manually. In the meantime, these plugins make it a heck of a lot easier.